at a time when North Bethlehem was still expanding with suburban-type growth in its northeastern section, the new Diocese of Allentown saw a need to provide another parish, in addition to the already established St. Anne Parish. As such, this new parish would become the newly formed diocese's first new church community. Here's the story of Our Lady of Perpetual Help Parish on Exploring Bethlehem. On May 21st, 1963, the Most Reverend Joseph McShea, Bishop of Allentown, formally established the parish of Our Lady of Perpetual Help as the first new parish in the new Diocese of Allentown. At the time of its establishment, the parish consisted of 450 families. Bishop McShea selected Reverend Harry Hines as the first pastor and the first order of business was to select a name for the parish. Bishop McShea suggested the title, Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Dedication of the parish to Our Lady was very appropriate, since the new parish was a daughter parish of St. Anne's Church in Bethlehem. Father Hines knew that in undertaking the formation of a new parish, he would need much help from Our Blessed Lady, so he accepted the suggestion from the bishop. When the parish was established, a three-bedroom split-level house on Santee Road was acquired by the diocese as a temporary rectory. The basement was converted into a combination office and chapel. The rectory was furnished, and Father Hines moved in on June the 21st, 1963. That house remained the rectory until the completion of the new parish center in November 1989. A location for the celebration of Sunday Masses had to be secured for the new parish as soon as possible. Father Hines obtained permission to use the gym at Notre Dame High School. Two weeks after the official establishment of the parish on Trinity Sunday, June 3, 1963, the first Masses were celebrated. In July of 1963, Father Hines presented his ideas for a U-shaped, one-story colonial-style building consisting of a church, school, and hall with a separate convent building. The original estimate for this complex was $585,000. On August 1, 1963, permission to build was granted. In order to open school as soon as possible, Father Hines requested and was granted permission to use four of the classrooms on the lower level of Notre Dame High School. The school was opened in September of 1964, with the first four grades having an enrollment of 135 students. Parishioners were able to move into the beautiful new school on Monday, March 1, 1965. The Sisters of St. Joseph from Chestnut Hill came to staff this parish school and lived in the convent, completed in 1967. They remained here at the parish until 1986. Three weeks after moving into the school, the first Masses in the new church were held on Sunday, March 21, 1965. Father Hans remained the pastor of the parish until his death in July of 1975. He is buried in the courtyard in front of the statue of Our Blessed Lady. It is a fitting way to remind all of his great devotion to Our Blessed Mother. In August of 1975, Bishop McShea appointed Reverend John Conti as the second pastor of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Under Father Conti, the parish grew strong in every way. The population increased, school enrollment increased, and the parish continued to grow under his kind and generous shepherding. When the Sisters of St. Joseph left the school in 1986, Father Conti was able to secure the Dominican Sisters, who taught in the school until 1988. In 1988, Father Conte became the pastor of Holy Guardian Angels Church in Reading. In June of 1988, Bishop Welsh appointed Monsignor Sachs as the fourth pastor of our parish and also appointed the newly ordained Father David Briner as assistant pastor. On August 16, 1990, 
Father Victor Finelli was appointed to succeed Father Briner. On September 2, 1994, Father Holko was appointed to succeed Father Finelli. Over the years, the parish has grown in many ways. The parish now has over 2,400 families and over 7,500 people. The school community has over 300 students. The old convent building, vacant since the Dominican sisters left the parish in 1988, was renovated into the new parish center, housing the offices for the parish as well as the residences for priests. In October of 1988, a building committee was formed to develop a master plan for the parish. On November 23, 1991, the new church was dedicated by Bishop Welsh with over 1,300 people in attendance. Phase one of the master plan cost $3,600,000. The last phase, eight classrooms, remains to be done. 